guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to be doing a Zepetto tutorial of the whole app. You may have noticed that I have done a Zepetto tutorial last year, and two years before that I did another one. But now a lot of things once again has changed in Zepetto, so I wanted to do another basic tutorial. This is mostly for beginners that are just starting new from the app, but if you want you can look at the timestamps down below and skip to the parts you are more interested in and without further ado let's get started okay so once we get into the app you can see this is the first page you start with but we are going to be starting with the profile page so this page is where you can see your posts your tagged and also your style as well as your items that if you do create items or make some items um, you can well see them all here and I, I get this question a lot people ask me if your items that you make are free but no you do have to buy your own items sadly hopefully in the future they do allow that you can get your own items for free but right now it isn't so the next thing you can also do in this page is edit your profile, of course. You can just do this by clicking on the edit profile, and you can see here, you can change your name, username, and it says you can only change your username every once in 30 days, uh, your job, your country, and your bio. And this is also where you can change your profile picture by just clicking on the camera icon. If I do so, you can see here, you can change profile image or set image as default. I am not gonna change mine, so I just click done. Okay, so the next thing you can also see is my avatars tab. So if you click on this, you are able to add an avatar, but it does cost real money. I did buy one right here, so I have two avatars, but if you click on the plus icon, you can buy another avatar for, well, this is my, for me, it's $3.69 in New Zealand money, but obviously in US and other countries, it will be different currencies. But yeah, that is my one. So if I were to click on this avatar, it would change. Now I'm in this avatar. You can see, if I click on home, I am now my second avatar. And to go back, you just click My Avatars and click on the other one. Um, the next one beside there, you can see this little plus person icon. This is just like a quick ad if you want to add your friends. Um, so, you, you know, just like a quick ad of things. And also, if you click in the corner, you can see a barcode type of thing. Or your, not barcode, QR code. And here, you're able to, like save it and then post it on social media or share it with people and they can add you easily as well and you can just scan your friends one by clicking scan copy share or save out of there um so yeah there's also a little qr code here if you click on that it'll it's more faster as well so also if if you want to change your background image so like the header you would have to click on it and here you see yourself your full avatar and then you got to click on avatar again and then you got to click on the light bulb and this is how you would change your header next uh, you can see there's the settings icon just in the corner if you click on that you can see here all of the settings if you need to like my account email blah 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 um, you can also um, if you see my other video of Become a Creator, they add, did add a new feature which you can create items on your phone. So if you click on Become a Creator, and here you're able to see it on your phone. I'm so happy that they added this because I feel like a lot of people are always on their phone in general. They don't want to switch to a laptop and create items. But here is, you know, your published, your pending, your drafts, and such. And you also may have noticed um, this premium one. So the premium is where there's like a monthly benefits program thing and I think it's kind of worth it to be honest. It is pretty cheap. It's worth like 60 zems but this one you get 70 zems and you get like gifts as well 
it's really good for creators because you can um, they review your items faster if you are a creator and I think it's just really really worth it you can just see more information about it here um, also if you go down a bit you can see emoji this was like one of the um, emoji things some people have talked about I forgot to show this in my last um, Zubeta tutorial but here you can create little emoji which is super cute it's kind of um, hidden away. I feel like not much people know it's there <laughs> because it's in settings. It's kind of a weird place to put like emojis. And there's also another thing I wanted to show you guys. If you go to personal information and content, you can see like privacy content, like block list, blah, blah, blah. You can see my posts. I'm pretty sure you can private your account here as well. Uh, yeah, you can see my following list that stuff you can see my world online status as before i said if you click on the header you can see some shortcuts to camera fighter booth and style we'll talk more about these a bit later on but that's just some shortcuts you can see and i think that is it for the profile just you know the basics And to remove it, you can just hold on to it again, and then it's out of your wish list. And also, when you click an item, you can see something called details. This, once you click that, you can see like you know more details about the item, like you know people that buy the item, things that are similar. You can also see there's a heart icon once again, and this will also, if you click on it, it will add to your wish list. In this little corner icon right here, you can see what's new. So I really like how Zipper has done this. They added a sorting feature that you can, you know, sort from mine first, high to low, or low to high. So if I click low to high, it will show me the cheaper ones to the most expensive amount. You can see ACC, which is like accessories. And there's a nail art as well. Uh, also, you can see this C icon right here. If you click on that, these are creator items. Creator items are items that were made from other Zipetors, and you can also buy them. Creator items are Zems. There aren't actually any coin ones, so they're all Zems. So if you grab two fingers and just zoom, you can like do this. This is something new they added. You can just zoom closer to your avatar. If you want to get a better look of like maybe this hair that you're wearing you can just see it closer and such and then if you click on the head icon the head icon is just the upper part like customizing your face your eyes your nose your lips and all of those features as well as changing your skin tone and your body shape as well i just like to like it on the default but i know some people like to be like really tall but yeah this is that there's also different things the petter added which is like 
moving an item like if I were to click this hat and uh, you can see that my hair is like sticking out the cool thing is if you click this little icon right here it's like a wand icon if you click on that you can size it move it side to side uh, front or back you can move your avatar you can see how far you want it and such like that Maybe up or down, put it higher or lower. I really like this. This is actually quite new they added. And it's really helpful because, you know, people have different hairstyles. So some items don't fit on them properly. And you just click OK. And there, now your hat fits perfectly. So whenever you see this wand icon, that is when you're able to move it. In creator items, I don't think they have this yet. So, like, if you were to click something to put on your head, like so, if I go here, and click on this, yeah, there's no wand icon anymore, because these are creator items, but for the normal items, you're able to move them as well. But I know for some items, they might work, just depends. And yeah, that is all for the closet. Let's head on to the next section. So now we are on to our next section, right next to the profile, which is feed. It's like this little video icon. So the feed kind of reminds you of like TikTok or Instagram, you know, it's like a normal feed, the people that you follow. All you do is like scroll down and you see things from other creators. Scrolling down, you can just see all the Z Petals. Uh, in the hot section, if you were to go there, you can see things that are trending right now using the hashtags. There's so many of them. If you were to go to the first one called My Slime Tag, uh, your video would pop up here in the new in the new side, new tab. If you were to click on the tag, it will take you to create, which is now our next section that we are going to be talking about. So in create, this is the main thing about Cepedo that most people do when they have the app is of course create things. So in here you can see this is like a photo booth section. So here I like how they um I I'm not gonna lie I did like the old layout better but something cool that they did add is if you see this right corner over here uh, if you click on that they added this type photo video or random that wasn't there before like three weeks ago, two weeks ago, that wasn't there, and now they added it, and I was so happy when they added this feature. So if we click on photo, one, and maybe medium, and then uh, dance, or like, I don't know, emotional, <laughs> and then click apply, and then it will show you all that you have selected in that category, which is so cool. This helps Zipatoras save so much time, especially when they're trying to look for a certain pose, and it's just really, really cool. Um, you may also notice that there's like this little star icon on like a lot of, like on everything. So this is also a new feature. Um, if you were to click on it, the star, it means you have favorited it. And this is now added to your my section right over here and these are all your favorited poses that you are easily able to find and just click on them and then to remove it you just click on it again and then it is removed you may also notice a camera icon this would once you click that that would take you to this this page right here so this is where your room is normal AR there's different camera settings you can click so yeah this is where I like to, you know, get my pictures because it makes them look very clear in HD. 
and I don't know, it's just so cool how like clear it is. This is where I like to take all my videos or pictures of my Zepeda character. So we're back to this create section. Uh, you got this um, search icon over here. The search icon is like in most of the sections. It just like you know you can search for account, a tag, a world, or item. So we'll just go back. Uh, there's also upload. So when when you click upload, it goes to uh, your gallery essentially. So you can either upload an image or a video. Like if I were to click video, and it will say gallery. I won't upload anything right now, but I'm just showing an example like this. This is a video I made, and here this is what it would look like once you are uploading it. You see here you've got like, you know, maybe a frame, what kind of size you want it, ratio, color, maybe add a border, filters is this one, and then the smiley face one is, ah, so it's, they're, they're like stickers basically, the smiley face is like stickers uh, that you can add, um, whoops, okay, and you can, this AA thing is text, when you click on it you can add text, and this is sound. You can make your volume low or high. And of course, down here, you can add music. You can trim your clip. Yeah, it's pretty basic, standard stuff. It's really easy to use. That is the create section. Next, we have the world section. Lemonade was a popular drink, and it still is. I get more props and stunts than Bruce Willis. The world section is also like a pretty main thing of Zepeda which is really cool, is where you can go to worlds and make friends and meet new people. And it's really cool. I actually don't go into worlds that much. I need to try to do that more this year. But like, I heard it's really fun to do this. So here you can see the people that are online. Maybe you can, maybe like, if you were to click on them, for example, you can see you can create a room and invite, see profile, chat, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and sometimes if you click on them, they'll be in a world already and you could just like follow them into that room. So in this tab you see world here, you can see local or global. So we're obviously doing, we want to do global. And that would mean global, <laughs> of course. Uh, so right next to that, you can see create room. In create room, you can create your own room. By clicking, maybe you want a private room, you can click the world you want by clicking so. Uh, for example, my house, um, let's put a private, click on that. You can allow observation, which means it allows others to join it and up just like observe you in that room. Um, applies to only worlds that support observation mode. So, yeah, and then you would just click create. Okay, so now we just got into the world, and I was just saying the checklist. And the cool thing about worlds is that they can give you quests, which allow you to earn items as well as coins, and even zems in some cases. So here's the world, it's so cute, I love it. Okay, so here in worlds you can see announcement in the corner, as well as invite link. And we got this little bag icon. This is where you can buy little knickknacks over here. We got a little like player icon, which allows you to invite your friends as well as your followers. And then you got the setting icons, which allows you to turn on your voice. I got voice, BGM, text balloon, nickname invitation you can accept all and you can also change the viewpoint to first person or third person so we have this little door icon which is the room menu this allows you to exit the room uh, it shows the world info you can search a room or you can create a room as well as move to a random room. 
the chat box let's just type something in like <laughs> we got the camera icon which allows you to take photos as well as a video and if you see these icons on the left here you can either take a photo or video in third person or first person or you can get rid of the name or you can even get rid of the background and yeah that is that and you can also pose when taking a photo or a selfie Okay, so um, beside that, we can see our backpack, which has all our items, vehicles, and play. And beside that, we have the microphone, which is turned off right now in settings. And beside that, we got like this turning the screen thing, which allows you to turn the phone or turn it vertically. And now it is this way. It's a bit more harder to play with, but, but if you prefer it, you can have it this way. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below because I can go into more detail about them and these options. And that is all for the world section. So now we are on to the last and most important section, which is home. Uh, this is the first page that you will see when you are in the game. So there's a lot going on right now, so I'm going to try simple it down. So let's start from the top. Here you can, at the top right, top left corner, you can see your money and your zen. Here, if you click on that, you can actually buy zems and coins as well as buy a slot for another character or you can buy premium. And then you got the search icon once again where you can search for items, maps, people, you know, all that. Beside that, you have your notifications. If you click on that, it will take you to your notifications. And beside that is the gift box. These are the gifts that you have received. And then we have in the right corner, we have chats. I don't actually go on chats much, but here you can like chat with people and in the corner icon there's a plus so here I can select a friend or many friends and make a chat which is really cool but I won't do that right now uh, and yeah that is the chat you can also find a chat by clicking here and just you know typing something like a name and then it'll find that chat Okay, so now moving down, you can see there's Avatar and Shop, that, those are the shortcuts. And then we got Join Now, which is to join a world. Then down here, we got Lucky Box. So this is a really cool feature that Zipetto added, which allows you to do like quests and like to do like, you know, daily things. And it allows you to get tickets, like view top posts. It takes me there. And then I just have to view it and if I go back I received a ticket and then when you receive these tickets you can then open these boxes or presents and you can get items but if you want to see how I got these tickets really fast check out my ticket video right over here I'll also leave a little link around so that is that Next, we have our quest. So this is the main way um, Zipetors earn coins by doing like quests every day. And yeah, there's many of those. And you can see my remaining time. I have three hours to finish these quests before it resets. And beside that, I got lucky. Lucky means that there's like, so lucky is an area where you can watch ads and you have a chance of winning coins as well as zems which is really cool i really like this i especially like grab that zem if i were to click on it 
If I were to click on grab that Zen, it will show me some offers that allows me to gain Zens, essentially, which is really cool. I have tried this before. It works. Definitely works. I try to do like mini ones because I feel like that's more worth it. But here they are. And then beside that, we have like a little tick icon right here. I'm just going to click on that. And this is just like your daily bonus you get every day. Right now, I'm up to my third, second day. Tomorrow, I'm going to get 500 coins if you log in every day. So beside that, we got free coins, which goes back to Lucky, which is ads to get coins. And then beside that, we have Style. So if I were to click on Style, this is where Zipetors share their looks and items and people can essentially buy them as well. I love going on here and seeing what people wear, getting inspiration. It's just a great place to be. <laughs> so here you can see that. You can see the popular featured and you can also sort this out by clicking this icon right here. If you were to click that, you can sort it out by Zem, by coin, by Zem or coin, by gender or by, you know, which category like school or retro. And you can also see creator items only. I love how Zipetto has added this feature. It just makes it easy to find things. I'll show you guys, if I go to this hat icon over here, this is my activity. So here's the stuff on my wish list. If I go to liked, this is the stuff that I liked from style. It shows the styles that I liked. And then recently tried on is what I recently tried on, which is really cool. And there's a little present over here. This takes you back to that gifts area once again. So let's just go back. And so let's go back and I want to show you guys how you can, you know, if you were to like something, it would just go to your liked section and now it's there so i usually like things that maybe i want to wear later on so i just like them and you can also just click the plus icon and here you can share your own style like so so that is it for style let's head on to the next one which is crew so in crew uh, you basically meet a bunch of new people in a chat, which you may have similar interests. Like here you can see talk, maybe you just want a little chat, or you want to like find people with similarities like Filipino or friend or BFF. There's lots of um, dating ones though, but here in the corner you can see the plus icon where you can make your own chat or group or crew. Uh, so you can make a secret crew, or you can open a crew. If I were to open a crew, I can make a crew name, crew description, introduce link, as well as applying off. So anyone can join without your permission. So of course some crews, you have to get the, um, the leader's permission. So yeah. So that is crew. Next we have link. So Link is a cool thing Zipetto added, which allows you to share your links with just, so to keep all your links in one spot. So here's mine. So I have my profile name, got my YouTube, got my Instagram, got my TikTok, and then all I have to do is just copy this link over here, and then I can paste it anywhere I want, and people can find all my links together. You can preview it as well, so this is what it will look like. Then you have events. Events is Zipetto's way of showing things, all the things that are happening right now, or ongoing events. So here, I, I recommend checking this place out like every day because sometimes, you know, new things can happen and you can win coins and Zems as well. There's competitions. There's just so many things you could do, really. So yeah, I recommend checking events out every day. Then we have camera, which goes back to camera, which is pretty obvious. So here in play, you can also see some shortcuts to crew, style, and then in today, I think this is like some news and stuff, like the timeline, the following, daily. This is actually new, this wasn't here before actually. We got tune. 
Neptune is another um kind of feature that is not as used I feel like but there is a few they're kind of like little comics you can make little webtoon comic things yeah, here you can see tunes and if I click on my profile you can see I have no tunes at all maybe I might make some who knows and then we got shot shot is also another like oops it's just like a little you know little camera thing you do like Christmas wish list and like little photo bomb pictures it's cute and then we got ask ask is where um your followers can ask you questions and if i click on that i got some questions here and i will be doing a question video soon answering your questions so in match we are going now so here is my profile i actually have not made one yet my profile is about youtube that is for sure so gaming so we'll just make one real quick and then it just pops up my favorite channel is sidemen complete i wish you never made that before i don't understand this that much actually and then oh so you can see like stuff about them oh and then you can press cross or hot interesting it's like it's kind of like tinder but like this is like frizzy petter version for friends uh okay so yeah you can see there's a lot of things to do here there's a lot of quizzes as well like party game test emoji test zombie run dating quiz there's so much things you can do and play if you're bored on the app but yeah that is play next beside play we have tutorial so in tutorial it's it's kind of like if you're new to Zipetto and you don't really know where to start, it's a beginner tutorial. Kind of like what I'm doing, but if you want to see how they do it, like customizing your avatar, earning free goods, like they they simple it down for you, which is really nice if you want to check that out. And then if you scroll down, you can see what's new, what's trending, which is really cool. Maybe your post could be up there one time um, and you'll see it. Then you gotta you see what's new, the newest features, uh, your friends. Then you got the worlds, play with friends. Uh, then you got the booths, and as well as shop for new items. Okay, guys, so that's today's video. I hope you guys found it useful, especially if you're a beginner on Zipetto. I know it can be quite overwhelming with all the features you just get like you just get very overwhelmed by it so i hope this kind of helped put them into like sections and helped you understand what you want to do and how you do it uh please leave a comment down below because if you are confused about something write down below because someone may already have the answer to it or i may be able to help please make sure to like subscribe comment it's really appreciated thank you guys so much i know this year is going to be an amazing year thank you guys for watching till next time